Hello guys and welcome back to my video. In this video I'll be talking about cost validation. So let's say you are a medical research scientist, right? And then your task is to find a cure for a certain disease. And then what you do is you research and after researching is you test your cure on different animals before it is before it is given to human, right? The same thing. The same thing happens when we when we do machine learning. So so let's say we have an algorithm and then we have an algorithm such as the k nearest neighbor and then we we train our algorithm on the training set and then after that we then evaluate our algorithm on the test set so what happens is that information on the test set sometimes may leak into our algorithm thus forcing our algorithm to overfit on the test set that means that our algorithms our algorithm learns patterns on the test set, but when it is put for real world use, it fails. So what's the solution? The solution will be to create to create another data set for the validation set. Right? So so let's say we have our we have created our data set for the validation set. We have split we have split our data set into training set, test set, and then the validation set, right? So training is done on the training set. And then validation, and then we evaluate our algorithm's performance on the validation set. After that, the final evaluation of the model is done is then done on the test set, right? The problem with this is that when we divide our data set into three sets, is that our data set we may end up with a little data set for us to train our algorithm. So what's the solution to this? The solution to this is the cross validation set. So what happens with the cost validation set is that we divide our we divide our data sets into k sets or k folds. We divide our data set into k folds if we are using the k fold cost validation. So let's say we have five folds, right? We have five folds, and then on those five folds, we then remove one fold. We train our algorithm on four folds, and then we then evaluate our model using the one fold that we left and then we then do the final evaluation using the test set so that that's the solution so that's the solution so a model is trained using k minus one of the folds as training data so let's say if we have five folds our model is going to be trained using four folds as training data and then the resulting model is then validated on the remaining part so that part that we have left we then use that to evaluate our model right so let's look into the code so the first thing here is we are going to import numbi which is a, a mathematical library and then we are going to import pandas which we are going to use for data preprocessing and then the next thing is we are going to import that the iris data set from 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 sklearn datasets and then we then create an instance of the iris dataset as iris is equal to load iris and then our features is iris dot data and then our labels will be will be y is equal to iris dot target and then the next thing is we are going to normalize our dataset and then the next stage is we are going to split our dataset using the train test bit split. So if you've watched my previous video then you know that when we are doing when we are when we are creating machine learning algorithms, we split our data set into a training set and then test set. So a training set that we are going to use to train our algorithm and then the test set that we're going to use to evaluate the performance of our algorithm. Right. So here we then split our our data set into training set and then test set. Here we have the X train and then the x test the y train and then the y test and then we split our data set and then we have a test side a test size which is 30 percent of our total data set and then the next stage and then and then the next stage is we are going to to import from the circuit lane library the k nearest neighbors classifier so if you are not familiar with the k nearest neighbor classifier I encourage you to watch my previous videos on the k nearest neighbor. I have uh, I have 
well tutorial videos on how to on how the k nearest neighbor works so we have our k nearest neighbor classifier and then we have a total number of the neighbors we have three neighbors and then we are going to import from the psychic plane again the model selection and then we are going to import the cost validation score and then we are going to this displays the accuracy of our k nearest neighbor classifier and then we then fit the we then fit our k nearest neighbor classifier into our training and test set and then we then evaluate the score of the k nearest neighbor on the test set which is x test and then y test as you can see the test accuracy is about 95.6 percent so in order to improve our algorithm there's another cost validation me method that i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about the grid search cost validation method so so the grid, grid search cross validation method works like this so we want let's say in the previous when i explained above we talked about the k nearest neighbor right and then the number of neighbors which is our parameter the number of neighbors was three right but this might not be the, the perfect parameter for our model so what do we do so we pass in a range of parameters on the grid search right from 1 up to 50 that's the range of parameters on the on the grid search right so what the grid search does is it goes through each and every parameters as you can see here we have grid is close to n which is number of neighbors np dot arrange from 1 up to 50 so we have parameters from one neighbor up to 50 neighbors right so what the grid se grid search does is it searches first if the parameter is one and then calculate the score then test out the parameter if it's called to two up to 50 so it goes through each and every parameter from one up to 50 and then it then finds out the best score for each of the parameters so what the grid search does is it helps us to find the best parameter for our model so here we pass in we pass in the dictionary with number of neighbors and then we pass in the range of parameters from one to 50 then we then create an instance of the k nearest neighbor class and then we then fit in the k nearest neighbor to the grid search to the grid search algorithm and then we have grid which is this one which we are going to pass the range of parameters and then we have the cost validation which is cost to, to 10 and then we then fit we then fit our x we then fit our data set into the grid search so as you can see here grid search has gone through each and every parameter from one up to up to 50 and then the next thing is we are going to print which parameter is the, is the best as you can see here tuned parameter k neighbors is cost 13 so the best parameter for our model is 13 the best nearest neighbors is 13 so for our k nearest neighbor to work it, it needs up to 13 nearest neighbors right so if you if you are a little bit confused about the k nearest neighbor i urge you to watch one of my videos on the k nearest neighbor right so now what is the k fold cross validation so k fold is where a given data set is split into k number of sections where each fold is used as a testing set at some point let's take the scenario of five folds let's say we have five folds here the data set is split into five folds in the first uh, iteration the first fold is used to test the module the rest are used to train the module in the second iteration the second fold is used as the test team set while the rest are used as the train set the process is repeated until each of the five folds has been used as testing set so what this basically means is that here we have our data set and then let's say we the k fold number of, of folds we have five right so here we are going to leave out the first fold this one we are going to leave this one out and then we are going to use these five folds these four folds sorry to train our to train our algorithm once our algorithm is trained we then use this fold the first fold that we left to evaluate our our algorithm or our machine learning algorithm after that the next stage is we have again four folds right 
and then here here the second we are going to leave out the second fold remember previously we left out the first fold but here we're going to leave out the second fold we train our algorithm on these four folds one two three four with green colors and then and then evaluate the performance of our module using fold number two the process is repeated again we leave out fold number three we train our module using fold one fold two fold four fold five after that is done we then evaluate our module using fold three the process goes on and on so here we are going to import k fold from from the scikit learn library we are going to create an empty array for the scores and then we are going to initialize the k fold is got k fold with the number of splits we need about 10 folds and then we the random state is fold two and then we shuffle like if you want to shuffle our data set here yeah, but we just say fold folds and then we need to look through all those folds so to do that we say for training index training in index in k fold dot split our data set so we want to look through all the, we want to look through we want to look through all the all the splitted folds in our data set we then print out the training index the test index and then we then we then initialize our x train x test y test y train y test is goes to a x training index and then the x the test index y the training index y the test index and then we then fit our k nearest neighbor algorithm into the k fold and then we then append the scores we then add the scores to this empty empty array that we have created here so if you do that you'll see that the k fold is giving us training index as well as the at the test indexes and then if we print out the score you see that the score is 93.9 which is almost 94 and then we print out all the scores so thanks for watching us i hope this video helps helped you a lot uh on cross validation so i urge you guys to stay safe and stay at home thank you guys for watching cheers